Today I received a giant box from Australia. Um, this thing is uh, quite large, quite heavy, and I do not know what is in it other than that it is full of some kind of die-cast cars. And uh, they made their way across the ocean to me uh, fairly quickly. So we're going to crack this thing open and take a look at this um, and see what is in here. Um, so this came to me from Chris at CRA Diecast. Um, so if you have never checked out Chris's channel, I highly recommend uh, that you do that. Um, he, he is in Australia, so he has access to a large number of very interesting things that uh, we simply cannot get in, in the U.S. Or, or pretty much anywhere else in the world. Um, Obviously, Major Red is not one of those things, but let's let's just start with one of these. He's like so. In here, we have Aussie Road Ragers, um, and this is this is something that is very uh, exclusive to the Australian market and uh, not available at all in the U.S. as far as I know. Um, and if you try to order these off of eBay or something, uh, they're they're quite expensive. Um, so uh, again, that's Chris at CRA Diecast. Um, so please check out his channel. And uh, and he and see all of the amazing stuff that he has has shown from various different uh, Australian makers. There's there's uh, at least three different uh, Australian diecast companies that uh, that he shows on his channel. Um, so uh, Aussie Road Ragers. Uh, let's see what is this. Uh, so I'm not even, these. So these these Australian vehicles. These are very specific to you know these are Australian truly Australian vehicles. So this was a 1971 XY Falcon panel van. Um, so that's very cool. Um, and then Majorette, uh, again, obviously Majorette is very rare in the U.S. Um, so Chris has been uh, kind enough. It looks like this box has quite a bit of Majorette in it. So uh, that's very, very exciting to me because I cannot get this stuff easily otherwise. So we have a Renault 5 Turbo in blue. Um, and then we have a Porsche 718 Boxster in red. This looks very cool. I have not seen this this car. All right. This version of this car at all um, looks like we've got a mini GT here so we have a Bentley uh, Continental GT3 in the champion livery um, very cool I'm always happy to have another Bentley I do not have this one yet um, so that is very very good uh, so let's see we have another Renault 5 turbo this time in red um, so we have the opening hatch on the back. So uh, so I'm going to unbox this. Uh, we, we'll pull everything out of here and see what's in here. And there is a lot of stuff in this box. Um, and then these will will make their way into future weekly haul videos uh, that, uh, you know, where I will open them and we'll take a closer look at the cars. It uh, looks like we have a Siku um, BMW i8 in white. Very cool. Siku is another brand that is not available in the U.S. at all. Um and then for another Majorette, this is a Nissan GTR. Uh, it's interesting, it doesn't even say, it's this metallic series, it doesn't say what the car is on the package. Um, hmm. Still doesn't say what the car is on the package. Interesting. <laughs> but it's obviously a GTR. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, okay. Looks like we have another Aussie Road Ragers here, which is awesome. Wow, look at that one. That's very interesting. Very cool. Uh, so this is the 1969 XW Surfer Roo Ute in Surfer Orange. That is awesome. Really cool. Uh, looks like we have some Hot Wheels. Um, so we have the Mercedes-Benz 500E in red. I actually just picked this one up um, on a short card, though. Uh, the 76 Greenwood Corvette. This is a... Uh, I believe a, a D case car or C case maybe and then the Cadillac ATSV R 16 Cadillac uh, this is cool I have been looking for this one and I have not found that so that is that is very good very good that this uh, to find that um, then we have the majorette WRC cars the Citroen um, WRC what is this? Citroen C3 WRC 2018, uh, which is excellent. This is uh, this is one of these I do not have, so that is awesome. Excellent work there, Chris. Uh, looks like we've got another Aussie Road Ragers. 
very cool. Um, let's see if I can move my camera over a little bit, get a little more better view of this. Um, so this one is the 1969 XW Falcon panel van in mobile gas livery. So very cool. Uh, some more Majorette. Ah, Bentley Continental, limited edition. Um, so Continental GT V8, kind of a metallic green. That looks really cool. This is a series that they have. Very cool. I'm going to run out of space here on my desk, I think. Uh, another Bentley Continental, this time in kind of a pinkish color. Very cool. I think I've been saying very cool too much. Oh, awesome. I'll just start saying awesome now. Volvo V90. Definitely been looking for one of these. Very glad to see this. Um, so we have a Porsche 934 in black. This is awesome. I have not seen this one either. I have several versions of the 934 casting, but I have not uh, never seen this one. That's, that's oh, very cool. Uh, another Siku. Um, this is the Lamborghini Veneno in a kind of a metallic blue. Awesome. And we have a Gumpert Apollo, also in metallic blue, with opening gullwing doors. Interesting. Siku is a very interesting brand. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we don't have this brand at all in the U.S. They, uh, they, they simply do not sell in, the, in this market. Um, so this is a BMW, probably a 5 Series ambulance, um, emergency car ambulance. So that's cool. Uh, so you have a Majorette in a box. Interesting. Um, so this is an Audi R8. So the uh, the price on here, this is four ninety nine. This would be in Australian dollars. Um, off the top of my head, I don't know the uh, the conversion rate. I think it's I think it's probably like maybe three dollars and fifty cents U.S. Or does it go the other way? Uh, I think it goes, I don't remember. Uh, best not to try to do that. Oh, cool. Aston Martin Vantage GT3 in yellow. This is awesome. Another casting I've really uh, hoping to get my hands on. So <laughs> I'm very happy to see this. And that is great. And then we have a Ford GT in yellow. Um, so this is a street cars, and so we can see if you if you watched my Beyond Hot Wheels series on Majorette, I went over the the distinctions between the different levels of the of Majorette. So here we have street cars, premium cars, and then uh, deluxe cars. Which uh, there's there was something in here that was a deluxe car. This this is a deluxe car. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, please <laughs> watch that video because um, it has a, a good explanation of that. Uh, so then we have a Porsche 911 Car Carrera Cabriolet. Um, this was, uh, I believe, an early release last year, and I don't think I ever found this. Um, and I think uh, I think Chris uh, saw that saw me mention that in, in somewhere on his comments or something, and then he he had said he had an extra one, so he sent me one. That's awesome. So I did not find that one last year. Um, so cool. Uh, so we get another Lamborghini here. This is. Uh, looks like an Aventador, most likely. Doesn't say. It's interesting. Or I just don't know where to look on the box. But a uh, nice blue color. I like these Majorette uh, Lamborghinis. Uh, they're, they have some pretty cool versions of them. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? A ton of stuff. Oh, okay. Mercedes-Benz E-Class All-Terrain. Awesome. Another casting I have never seen before. Um, I love wagons. So this is a, this is a great addition. Nice, nice, uh, looks like a metallic red probably. Wow. Okay, cool. So we are definitely running out of room here. And there is still a ton more in here. And 
uh, we have a Toyota GR Supra, another majorette in yellow. Another casting I have uh, definitely hoped to get my hands on, so that is awesome to see. And one more majorette. This looks like a McLaren. Um, maybe a seven, six something, seven something. These don't say, oh, it's going to be on the bottom. Why don't I just look at the bottom? Uh, <laughs> 675 LT. All right. Awesome. Very cool. All right. And then we have from Classic Carlectibles. This is another Australian specific brand. Um, and so this is a V8 supercar. Um, where does it say what this is? It's a Ford of some kind. I mean, it looks like a, uh, Will Davidson's year 2013 Pepsi Max Crew FPR Ford FG Falcon. Okay. That's a, that's a pretty, uh, pretty fancy livery on there. That is, uh, that is awesome. Uh, let's see. There's some more Siku, which... It's kind of buried in there, so um, we have BMW i8 Police from Seco. That's cool. Kind of neat looking police car there. It's definitely a fictional livery, but it's still still cool. And this stuff's gonna start falling over here. Man, this is a <laughs> this is quite quite a pile of uh, of stuff. So. Um, this one's going to be hard to show because this is a five pack. So this is a majorette five pack, uh, black edition gift pack. Just make a little bit more. Find some way to make enough room to get this in front of the camera. So we've got an got an R Audi R8 coupe in a flat black Nissan GTR Nispo again flat black, which looks awesome. Um, then there is a Brabus. Uh, B63S, that's in a gloss black. Mercedes AMG GTR in gloss black. And then the last one looks to be a Dodge Challenger, which I don't think there's any way I can <laughs> get this in front of the camera. So that's a Dodge Challenger in, in gloss black as well. Awesome. This is a very cool looking gift pack. Um, so we are going to set this on the floor because I don't have any uh, other place on my desk uh, to set it anymore. Uh, and there's more to come. BMW X6M from Siku. Very cool. These are a bunch of Siku castings that I've never seen before. I didn't realize that Siku had, had this many cars. And there's more in here. So um, This one, uh, a little blister that's a little worse for wear. But it's an Audi Q5 in red. That is... Cool. Another Majorette, another Ford GT, this time in purple. Uh, Streetcars level Majorette. Another Siku. This is a Bugatti Chiron in a Gendarmerie livery, which is fantastic. I uh, definitely love international police cars like this so this is cool i have no idea if these uh, if the gendarmerie actually uses a bugatti chiron i would be surprised if they did but you know it's cool anyways and continuing on another siku this time it's a range rover man so many of these i have never seen before i would have i would have thought i would have seen these on chris's channel at least um and again that's cra diecast so Please, uh, please check out his channel. Um, so the Audi R8 Spider in red. This is definitely a very big, big casting for an Audi R8. Definitely much larger than 164 scale. Uh, let's see, we have one more Siku hiding down in here. Um, Mini Countryman in yellow. That looks pretty nice. And... It's like uh, Lamborghini Countach LP400 in red. This one is from Majorette in uh, part of the Vintage series. That looks uh, pretty nice as well. 
Wow. Okay. Quite the pile here. And looks like there's one more car. And that is a Toyota 2000 GT from Majorette as well. This is a vintage car. And then there's a few other things in here. Um, looks like some stickers. Um, this may be the hobby shop where Chris buys this stuff or some of this stuff in, uh, in Australia, which is cool. Those are very cool stickers. Um, and, and then there is a magazine here, which is not, you're not going to be able to see this on camera, but it's a, it's a, the great race 2021 Bathurst. Uh, this is awesome. Chris, this is, this is love this. I'm really looking forward to, to digging into this. Uh, so I'm a big fan of the, of the Bathurst track and the Bathurst 1000 and various things, um, along that route and so here we go so let's see can we do a little overview it's a little just kind of a big mess but this is quite the pile of stuff i think on the on the customs label it said that uh, there were 39 cars in the box i don't know if that's uh that's truly the case but obviously it's quite the haul of majorette and siku cars with a few uh, australian uh things uh, australian specific things in here as well so this is awesome stuff. So again, check out CRA Diecast. He shows this kind of stuff all the time, and there is a lot of it. Um, it's always surprising to me what he keeps uh, he keeps digging up and uh, and showing on his channel. Otherwise, thank you for watching.